Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. Once you have finished working on your animation, and you want to share it with the world, you'll need to choose the Export Animation option. To do this, go to File, Export Animation, or Control e if you're on Windows, Command e if you're on a Mac. Now here you are given access to a variety of different options. First, you can choose the start and end frame of your animation. If you want the entire project file to be rendered out, you'll want to choose the entire animation button. This will include all frames that you have chosen for your animation. Now let's say you only animated something between frame 60 and frame 200. Well then you could put those frames in and just render those out to save yourself some time from rendering out the entire animation. For the output format, you can choose QuickTime, AVI, or Flash. AVI and QuickTime are video files, and these can be shared on DVDs, YouTube, or any other venue that requires video. Flash is a format used in web browsers to stream rich media content. However, this file format cannot be viewed on some mobile devices, so be sure to select the right type of file for your audience. In this case, I would recommend QuickTime, as it seems to deliver the best video results. From here, you can apply different render options. If you have layer effects like shading and so on, you can click to apply those in your render. You can choose to render your file at half dimensions. This is good if you want to just maybe test the animation and don't want to spend a whole lot of time rendering. You can also choose to render at half frame rate, again for the same purpose of testing. And finally, you can choose to do extra smooth images if you want to give your animation a smooth look, which is what I would recommend. Once you've done all that, click OK, and now you'll be prompted to save the file on your computer. So choose a spot and hit Save. Here, you'll have access to a variety of compression settings depending on the video file type that you chose. So if we go to Compression Type, you have access to all sorts of different compressions. Now the question is, which compression is best? Well, you may have to play around a bit to find the one best suited for you. However, animation or H.264 tend to work best for me. Now from here, you can choose your frames per second, which you'll probably want to stick with the original project file settings. So in my case, it's 24 frames per second. And down here, you can choose the quality and depth. You'll usually want to stick with a high color depth and a higher quality. You can always compress these files later on in a video editing software. And once you've done all that, you can click OK to render out your project file. Now this may take some time depending on the detail and length of your project file, so be patient when rendering out the video. And one more thing I'd like to point out is if you go to File, Preview, or Control-R or Command-R, you'll get a preview of what your video or that certain frame will look like to your audience. And if you want from here, you can export out an image of this frame. You have access to a variety of different file formats like JPEG, bitmap, and so on. And you can also copy this image to the clipboard so you can paste it in a different software. And that is how you export your animations in Anime Studio Debut. If you would like more information on Anime Studio, please check out the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Keep an eye out for more of my Anime Studio 9 tutorials because they are out there, and I'll see you guys next time.